Hi, Phil Plate from BadAstronomy.com again. Um, the other day I published a video blog about Comet McNaught, this bright comet that's been in our skies for the past few days. And I made two small errors in it. These aren't life-threatening errors, but figured I'd better correct them. And since I did that as a video blog, I'll do it here again. Now, today is Sunday, January 14th. It's about 1.30 in the afternoon for me. And I just came inside from seeing the comet during the day, broad daylight, this comet is visible. So that's the first mistake I made in the video blog. I said that the other day, Thursday, would be your last chance to see it. And it turns out that ain't right. I was sort of being uh, uh, small-minded about this and thinking you could only see comets at night. But in fact, this thing is so bright, it's visible during the day. So what I did is I went outside and I put the sun behind the roof of my house so that it was blocked and most of the light from the sun was blocked. And then I used my binoculars to look for the comet and I was able to see it. Now you've got to be very careful here. You do not want to look at the sun through binoculars. It'll be the last thing you ever see, so don't do that. Plus, it'll ruin your binoculars, so you shouldn't do that. Um, for me in the Northern Hemisphere, in California, um, the comet during the middle of the day is to the lower left of the sun by about five degrees. If you hold your hand out at arm's length, for me it's about four fingers width like this. For other people it might be a fist, but I have a big hand. Go to spaceweather.com or skytonight.com and they'll be able to uh, have finder charts to show you where to look for this thing. So you can see it. It's pretty amazing. Now the other mistake I made is that I said this comet may come back. Well, most comets do, right? They, they orbit the sun in some sort of really long, narrow ellipse, and they, they take decades or years or millennia to orbit the sun. Well, it turns out this one may not be coming back. Somebody pointed this out in the comments of my blog, that the eccentricity of this comet is greater than one. Now, the eccentricity is a measure of how round the orbit is. A circle has an eccentricity of zero, right? That means that it's perfectly circular. But as you deviate from that in an ellipse, the eccentricity goes up. So this might be an eccentricity of about, oh, I don't know, 0.5, whatever. And as you get narrower and narrower, the eccentricity goes up and it approaches 1. And when you have an eccentricity of 1, you have an infinitely flat line, basically. Now, you can have an eccentricity greater than 1. And what that means is that the comet is no longer bound to the sun. A circle or an ellipse, these are closed orbits. The thing goes out and it comes back. But a hyperbolic orbit, an unbound orbit, is where it goes past the sun and just keeps going on forever. It's gone. It never comes back. This can happen if the comet passes by Jupiter or Saturn, some other planet, and that gives it a gravitational slingshot, a, a kick in energy that gives it enough velocity that once it rounds the sun, it's gone. It reaches what's called escape velocity. It escapes forever. It looks like to me that that's what's happened to this comet. I can't verify that for 100%, but the eccentricities that I found listed on the web do indicate that this thing is on its way out into interstellar space. So this is maybe your last chance to ever see this in the next couple of days. Southern Hemisphere observers, you might be able to see this thing at night over the next few days. If you're in the Northern Hemisphere, you can see it right in the middle of the day. It's phenomenal. Again, go to spaceweather.com, skytonight.com, something like that, and you can find where you can look for this thing yourself. I highly recommend it. I've been doing this kind of thing for 30 years, and I've never seen a comet like this, never seen one in broad daylight. It is incredible. Go do it. For BadAstronomy.com, once again, this is Phil Plate.